Laura Sankle. So she's there for the play-by-play. And the things she calls out are just amazing. So let me explain to you what play-by-play is, okay? So play-by-play, you're there to call out the action. You're there to tell me what the person is doing, how they're doing it, why they're doing it, how the other person can stop them from doing it and reverse to a better position, and how that person can stop them from stopping them from doing what they want to do. And that's what you're there for. Then you have the color side. Um, the color, you know, you have people like, you know, John Anik, um, Brandon Fitzgerald. They're there to keep the story going. They read you the ads, give you, you know, the little plot details, um, give you the interesting things going on behind the scenes, um, telling you about the Hall of Fame, um, you know, telling you about, you know, the, the, the stats going on in there. Uh, giving you all that information to keep you interested and give you the feel of the fight, but they're not there to break down, you know, the actual action. That's what the, the play-by-play is for. But you do get crossover. So you have the commentator, you know, the commentators do both jobs. You have people there for the color that will give you some play-by-play, and you get some people like Michael Bisping who's there for the play-by-play that's going to give you some color. Lord needs to work on the color parts. But the thing she calls out is just amazing. And I mean, you can kind of look at it as showing off. I mean, she's saying these names of these moves that, you know, she had to watch this video for back in the 90s. You know, she had to go train here with these people over there. She's talking to fighters. I mean, she's getting this information but the hard way, there is no way you just wire it in your brain. You go, oh, yeah, I can act like I'm a dictionary and give you all these names that, you know, you probably think are made up. No, these are things that she has to learn. That is impressive for someone to have such a wide range of MMA maneuvers and can tell you exactly what they are, how they came, where they came from. But she definitely has to work on the color aspect of it. Michael Bisping is a is a dominating personality. Um, you see it, you know, with him and Cormier, they they get along a lot. But then you see people like him and Dom, they butt heads a lot. Uh, but they're they're very good friends. I mean, you see him, you know, on the 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 vlogs and like that. They seem like they get along very well. But they they attitudes are just, you know, I'm here. I'm gonna say what I want to say. And I'm here. I'm gonna say what I want to say. And I think you're wrong. I'm gonna tell you you're wrong. When I think you're wrong, I'm tell you why you're wrong. And Laura is gonna she's gonna get there. But as of right now, she's not comfortable. It doesn't seem like in those positions. Michael a few times would say something and would kind of shut her down and you'd notice that she wasn't talking for a while. But those are things you learn. I mean, unfortunately, this isn't the job that she gets to do it five days a week, you know, 365 days a year, you know, however many that would add up for that. She doesn't get that. She gets to do it every now and again on a Saturday. So a lot of her job is prepping for it. But then once you actually get there, you got to get comfortable with the other fighters, with the other, you know, commentators. Um, so Laura is definitely going to get there, but right now she is impressive.